Welcome to Toyota Jeff Reviews. I'm Jeff. Limited TRD Sport. Limited versus TRD Sport. I'm going to compare two trim levels that are naturally compared against each other for 2024 4Runner. 2024 TRD Sport in new to 4Runner underground color. And 24 Limited in windchill pearl. While the world waits for the reveal, the premiere of next gen 4Runner, which could be sometime this year, who knows? I don't have a specific date. We have to think about what dealerships have on their lots right now for sale because 4Runner fans are looking to buy and this could be it. The Limited, more chrome, more features, more tech than the other trims. But then there's a much cheaper alternative here, TRD Sport that was revealed for the 22 model. This is a 24. They're both four wheel drive. I'm gonna show you how each of those works. And then we're going to talk about how this could be an alternative to that Limited if you want to save some money and if you want to go for just a really cool look. Both have great on-road rides. I want to show you a first look at the TRD Sport so we can just kind of see what it's about. It has Softex interior. You'll see leather interior on our friend Limited. We'll get to that, don't worry. We're going to see all the differences and all the ways that they're the same and you'll have to decide which one's going to be the best option for you. What's in your wallet? Let's do the same thing with our friend Limited here. The sizing is going to be the same. It's just different features, different look. So is the Limited the way you want to go? Do you like the accent pieces? Notice around the multimedia, the accent of wood here. Moonroof. All right, let's get started. Whew. Which one of these has more chops, more power under the hood? Whew. It's probably going to be the Limited, right, with its 4.0 liter V6 engine. Woo! Matched with a 5-speed automatic transmission, 270 horsepower, 278 pound-feet of torque. Whoa! Or it could be the TRD Sport with the Oh wait, it's exactly the same. The 4.0 liter, the 5-speed automatic transmission, 270, 278. Neither one of these uses prop rods. They both have the lifts. To me, what really makes 4Runner Limited attractive to buyers is the fact that it has a smooth on-road ride. It has X-R-E-A-S, x Reyes Sport Enhancement Suspension. It means it glides across the road. This one will ride smoother, I think, than other vehicles. You'll have to tell me if you think that's true. And yes, this is another trick question, trick topic, because so does TRD Sport. Also has the x Reyes Sport Enhancement Suspension. So they ride about the same. TRD Sport has 16 MPG in the city, 19 in the highway, 17 combined. And so does Limited, 17 combined. I think it's time we talk about some differences because we've talked about similarities. I just want to show off this windchill pearlescent paint, the windchill pearl. It's different from our friend Underground. Underground is not metallic. It is not pearlescent. It's a flat paint, looks fantastic. My favorite new color I'd say Toyota makes right now, but it's certainly different than windshield. So Jeff, me being Jeff, what are the differences then? You've shown us too much that's the same. Well, $6,300 difference in price. That is a good way to start, right? This one is $6,300 more than this one. So now we got to find some differences to see if the juice is worth the squeeze. The limited four-wheel drive system is different from TRD Sport. The limited has Hey, it's got the vertical window. We all want that, right? This one has full-time four-wheel drive, and this is the one to do it. So there is no two-wheel drive. Between low and high, it's all going to be four-wheel. TRD Sport's going to be like the other trim levels. It's part-time four-wheel drive. Things you see on a Tacoma, for example. Here we go, 4Runner. It has two-wheel, it has four-wheel, and four-high, four-low. So you can decide which way you want to go based on what you're driving on. Let's call this section, how do you like your bling? Because this one's going to be blinged out with lots of chrome accents on the top, the medium, and the bottom of the grill. And then TRD Sport is going to be color keyed. We see lots of underground. We do see a little strip right here. And of course, the Toyota symbol, that's chrome. But the rest, it's underground. I want my bling on this limited here. I want lots of chrome. It's everywhere, man, everywhere. It also has a panoramic view monitor, and we'll be seeing that right over here with this bad boy right here. But we see parking sensors in the front and the back, chrome strip there, chrome around the fog lights. They all have LED high beams, low beams, LED fog lights. This has the original Toyota safety sense on it with the next gen, that'll be upgraded. It will. And then this one here, same panoramic view monitor, no parking sensors. Look at the strip here. 
and then boom. And then it has a hood scoop. Oh, so there's a big difference there. Nice. Now, which front end is more appealing to you? One look at these profiles and you'll realize they haven't changed in a long time, but there's a reason why, because these can't be beat. They can't be ripped apart. They can't be destroyed. Tall, rugged, sturdy, unbreakable. Jarvis, give me the plans to the Forerunner. Right you are, Mr. Teague. Thank you, Jarvis. It's Iron Man, it's Iron Car, something like that. I just wanted to work in Iron Man. I'm gonna go now. Forerunner Limited, it's gonna have, ooh, look at that. We've got turn signal indicators here. It has blind spot right over here. It also has cameras underneath the mirrors. I see chrome around the windows, around the walls. Door handles, badging, and down below as well. What else do we see? Well, look at these right here. We've got two-tone. They're chrome, but they're with black. They're 20-inch. So I thought Forerunner Limited was the only one to do the 20-inch. No, because TRD Sport came along, and this one also has it, but instead of the black, look, it's got the metallic -y silver gray. I don't know what to call that color. What do you call it? All right, look here. We've got color-keyed fenders just like on Limited, but down below, got a different accent piece. We have the turn signal indicator. So instead of this right here and chrome right here and chrome door handles and badging, now we're gonna see underground. Underground, which one looks better here? I cannot decide for the life of me. TRD Sport has the black roof rails and Limited has the silver metallic roof rails. And Limited has a moonroof. TRD Sport ain't got that. Whoosh. Lots of differences in the back ends here. Chrome, not chrome. Don't worry, they both have power vertical window. I told you that. Then they've got chrome on the Limited here. Woo! Surrounding the Toyota symbol. Forerunner, nice. Backup sensors, chrome, nice. Do you like this one or do you want to go with this one, which is a little bit more, we'll call it traditional here. Oh, different colors surrounding those two. That's nice. And then we do not have chrome. We do not have backup sensors. So could that make a difference? Let's get in the back cargo area here. We've got two different configurations. I could see a third row back here as well. That could be an option, sure. But look, it's a nice, big, wide, deep opening here. No JBL speakers. We'll see that on the Limited. TRD Sport here has the 400 watt power, 12 volt circular. But look, it's empty right here, okay? If you want the spare tire, it's underneath there. Limited time. Really the only difference is an added option, the sliding rear cargo deck, that's 350 buckaroonies. I don't think I can do that with one hand. Oh, yes I can. All right, so it holds 440 pounds. You can pull that out and you could do work. Do work, work. There it goes, it slides out so you can watch your kids game here. Fireworks, just kind of hang out in the rain. JBL speakers, 15 of them, baby. Woo! Time for the TRD Sport interior tour. You know, this one right here. We have soft tech seats that you can sit on. They're cool. They're, I mean, they're nice looking, but they're also, they keep cooler than leather. Easy to clean up. Very nice and they last a long time. So. I see black with the light, maybe gray accent stitching here. Here we go. Lots of leg room, lots of head room here. It also has pockets for the seats and we'll find, ooh, chunky and very soft. You'd want your lazy boy to be like this. And then these can come out so you can have thicker or thinner cups, USBs. That was changed in 2020 rear air vents. All right, take a look here. This is an eight inch multimedia screen. They'll be getting bigger for the next gen. Don't worry about that. So this is TRD Sport. I'm gonna keep this angle low because I've got the sun to worry about. If I get up too high from this angle, bad news for all of us. Soft touch here, I like that, that's cool. All right, this one does not have the wood accent piece. No, it doesn't. More metallic-y. It does not have on TRD Sport the power passenger seat but it still looks good. TRD, 
Oh, so it's a TRD. Yes, it is. We know that. No moonroof. Okay. All right. That's interesting. We found that out. I see a big, big center section with, ho, oh, we've got a 12 volt circular port. And this is the vertical power window. We're just going to come up here so you don't get car sick. I'm car sick. It opens, it closes. We can do it right from here. Whoop, whoop, holla. All right, so look at this, look at that. And then this is the two wheel drive and four wheel drive shifter, TRD. It's TRD. All right, nice chunky dials here. Here's our multimedia. It does not have the JBL sound system, so don't look for 15 different speakers because you won't find it. I see a power driver's seat with lumbar support. I also see four one-touch windows, so that's kind of just a nice thing that you'd like to have on here, not necessarily something I'd highlight as, oh my gosh, earth-shattering. 400 watts of power. You can do the panoramic view right by pushing that button or putting it in reverse, that kind of thing. But look, we can see along the sides. That's pretty nifty. Here's our 4.2 inch information display there. Just shows different pieces of information. I think it's the same as the limited one. Just kind of goes through different pieces of information. Nothing super fancy on it. Here we go, auto dimming rear view mirror. It has sunglass holder. We like that. A track, nice. Downhill assist control. Home link for garage door openers, that's very cool. And then it has a slider on the visor here. And then it also has, ooh, the light. Looking at limited for an interior tour, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the right of the steering wheel because a little slipped in new addition, not Bobby Brown's musical gang, no. We're talking about right here, heated steering wheel. That's standard on the limited now. That's very cool, right? I like that, so let's go here. And we're gonna see leather seats, not soft tech seats, leather. And you could get them in different colors and shades and things like that. A lot of it's gonna be repetitive from what we see on TRD Sport. The USBs, the rear air. That's gonna be a little bit different with some accent and a few extra perks thrown in. Like a power passenger seat right there, woo! All right, soft touch. Soft touch, that part's nice. And then this has the wood grain accent piece right here. So that could be different. We'll see JBL sound system here, 15 speakers. So if you want upgraded sound, this might be the way to go. It also has standard heated and cooled seats. So that might be a benefit. There's the four wheel full time with center locking differential and A-Track, you'll see the A-Track. All right, here we go. We see memory seats. So if you have a taller driver, a shorter driver and you want everybody to be comfortable well then maybe go with the limited that could be the way to go remember leather seats here nice moonroof standard so there are some features that are different between the two okay that's going to be the same shifters different and the wood grain doesn't say trd it's wood grain hey what's up wood grain We've got this right here. You can look at the menu. It's got the dynamic navigation system on it. Boom. Auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass holder, A-Track, downhill assist control. But remember, it's got the center locking differential, home link, and the same visor setup. I don't know how to decide. How about you? Got the window stickers here. Let's go with the limited one first. We kind of started with that one on most of the different topics today. Safety ratings, fuel mileage that I told you. The first column is going to be standard features that you get right from the factory. They're all on every limited. x ray of sport enhancement suspension right there. And then the JBL 15 speakers with amplifier, subwoofer, 51.7. This has the sliding rear cargo deck, special color, and more keep it wild savings. That's kind of cool. So here we take that price. Add in any regional options that might be put on at the regional assembly port in Florida, like this. And then that puts it at 55,000 right there. This one is available at Fred Anderson Toyota. Go to fredandersontoyota.com. And then our friend TRD Sport here, underground. There we go. That's all the same. 
Here we go with a few different things, mostly the part-time four-wheel drive. Keep looking down here, interior. Oh, cool, a lot of TRD stuff on this one. So we'll take that 45.4, which was 51.7 on the Limited. Add in delivery, add in some running boards maybe. This one has some other options from the regional port. And this one is 49.4. So you see the appeal. It's also available at fredandersontoyota.com. So who you got in this one here? You got TRD Sport, you got Limited. Which one meets the better value? Which one meets your budget better? Which one looks cooler? Inside, outside, features, does everything match up to you? Which one you want? Thanks for following me, my two channels for 2024. We gotta get a lot of new subscribers, so I gotta work really hard to bring you great content. Auto Jeff Reviews and Toyota Jeff Reviews. Auto Jeff Reviews looks at all brands. That's on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. You'll find me there. Same thing with Toyota Jeff. Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And I'll definitely see you a lot this year. Hope you're having a great day. If you'd like more 4Runner content, check out my playlists and you'll get to see tons of 4Runner videos. I've done them throughout the years. All trim levels, colors, features, options, how-tos. I think you'll like it. Thanks everyone.